Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Big Time Boxing is back in Telford Saturday night live on BT Sport. There's a good mix. We've got title fights, we've got young kids coming through, putting their unbeaten records on the line. There's a little bit of something for everyone. It's headlined by Jason Cunningham, a man who, for his whole career really, he's been in the away corner. Not anymore. He's got himself a big deal with Frank Warren. He's the EBU European Super Bantamweight Champion. And he puts it on the line against this man here, Terry Le Couvier, I've been told. You can correct me. Is that right? Almost. Almost. Te Terry. So Terry's going to be fighting against Jason Cunningham Saturday night. That's the main event. Also on the show, we've got Stoke's favourite son, Nathan the Hitman Heaney, puts his IBO International Middleweight Championship on the line against Diego Ramirez, uh, a dangerous guy that we, we've seen before in these shores. He, uh, he came over and he knocked out Bradley Skeet. No one was expecting that, but he did it. And uh, he's back, and he takes on Nathan Heaney, and uh, he'll be looking to knock him out as well. Uh, we've got another exciting young super bantamweight on the card as well, Andrew Kane, who you might catch having a little glance at this European belt. He might, he might have a little look at it, because he'll probably fancy his chances of getting hold of it one day. He's taking on a late replacement opponent. He was meant to be fighting Liam Davis. Of course, that fight has fallen out, unfortunately, through injury. Um, well, let's let's have a chat. Let's let's actually come to uh, Andrew Kane first. Uh, Andrew, you were you were meant to fight Liam Davis. Um, it was a big fight. It was a fight that a lot of people were excited about. I was very excited about it. What what was your reaction when that fight fell through? To be honest, mate, I was uh, I was devastated, but only for about an hour, and then I realised that it was never about Liam Davies anyway. It was always my night my night to show who I am and, and to put a proper performance in, so it didn't really matter in the end, you know what I mean? It would have been nice to, to have beat him because he said a few things about me and stuff like that, and uh, it's a good fight for the people who want to see it, but not asked at the end of the day. It doesn't make no odds to me, mate. All that matters is I still got a fight and I still get a performance at the. Was it difficult turning your attention to uh, Pablo Ariel Gomez, your opponent for Saturday night, considering there was, as you say, he'd said a few things, you'd said a few things, there was a bit of needle with Liam Davis. There's no needle with you and this fella. There's needle with every fella because every fella's trying to take me life away, you know, he's trying to take food off my kid's table and he, so, no, it weren't difficult because a fight's a fight, it doesn't matter who's in the other corner, mate, all that matters is I perform the way I can. There must have been a few uh, a few hours, maybe a couple of days, where you weren't really sure whether or not you were still going to be on this show. Uh, a bit of uh, how did you manage to keep your head in that time? Did you keep your head? Yeah, most definitely. I was just just waiting for the phone call, just to say it was back on, you know, and got the phone call to say it was back on for the title. So I was happy. Just didn't make no difference in the end, mate. Now you must be looking over here, Jason Cunningham, right? He's got he's got all the belts, right? He's got the the EBU European title. He's just relinquished the British title. He's still the Commonwealth. He's got an IBF international. This is a man that, with a target on his back, and you must be looking at him and thinking, oh, I want a bit of that one day. Most definitely, I haven't seen much of him. I've seen a uh, little bits and bobs, but what I've seen, I have boxed plenty of styles like that in the amateurs, and I feel like I've got the beating of him. To be honest with you, mate, and the belt is looking pretty in it. So I'd love a little bit of that myself, like maybe. Maybe sometime this year or next year, we'll see you in it. It's a hell of a division. Uh, I mean, we've got to put Jason Cunningham on top of the tree at the moment. He's 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 got it all. Um, and obviously, he's defending that belt on Saturday night. But where do you where do you place yourself, Andrew, at the moment in in the UK? He's definitely got a nice suit, like, honey. Uh, Looking the part, isn't it? Yeah, man. <laughs> what I would say, uh, I put myself at the top of the divisions, mate. Never mind the UK. I look at the world, the world level, and I'm, I know I'm capable for that. You know what I mean? I, as long as I perform and, and be who I am on the night, there's no one who's going to stop me, no one. So what can we expect then when you take on Pablo Ariel Gomez Saturday night? Big chance for you. You're on TV. You've got that slot. You've still got that slot. There's a WBC ball ball on the line as well for you to get your, your hands on. What, what can we expect? Pablo is getting put down, mate. That's what we can expect. Pablo is going to sleep. It's good alliteration. Um, thank you, Andrew. Um, feel free to chime in if you want to add anything later on. In the press conference, uh, Diego Ramirez, welcome back 
to the UK. Um, the last time we had you here, you knocked out Bradley Ski. We still remember. You must, uh, you must have happy memories of the UK. What have you seen in Nathan Heaney that makes you confident that you will win on Saturday? What has he seen? What flaws has he seen in Nathan Heaney? What? Okay, so Nathan, apparently a big secret's coming out on Saturday night. Um, I'll just, I'll just ask Diego one, one final thing. Um, this man has so many fans; they are going to be screaming his name. Every shot he lands, every shot he misses, they'll be screaming his name. Do you think that could intimidate you on Saturday? And finally, do you think you can knock Nathan Heaney out? Not yourself, the Diego. Thank you, Diego. Well, Nathan, there's there's no promises <coughs> other than a good fight, but he's keeping it a bit of a secret as to the flaws that he's seen in the hitman. Your initial thoughts heading into Saturday night? Yeah, I think it's um, I think it's a great opponent for me to have. Diego is a is a proper fighter, a proper warrior. I've seen some great wins on his record. Obviously, he stopped Bradley Skeet previously, um, so caused a massive upset on the Frank Warren card, and no doubt he wants to do the exact same again. Like he says. It would be very silly for him to say what he's going to do to obviously beat me, so it should be a secret. But yeah, I think I think our styles will match well. Yes, he's a southpaw; it makes it awkward in in some sense. But I think I know what to I'll know what to do to control that. Well, look, same question I ask you every time: How, how many tickets you done this time? How many of your balmy lot are coming? Yeah, so there's one thousand two hundred coming from Stoke. Now that it's amazing the support they always show me is absolutely incredible. But with it being Easter weekend, there's a lot of people on holiday. The stag dues books, all this kind of stuff. So to have 1,200 people come in again, which was double the amount that we had last time in Salford, and it was an amazing atmosphere then. So to have double that amount, it's going to be it's going to be a very eventful night and a very it's going to be a great atmosphere. Well, this fella's quite dangerous, right? We, we've seen that in the UK. I mean, do you think you're going to need your fans? Do you think you might have to dig deep and they might have to pull you through it? Do you think it could be one of those types of fights? It, who knows that? We don't know how the fight's going to play out until we get that first round out of the way. 
but y- y- your support are always going to help you. It's just even when the bad times, if bad times ever happen in a fight, just they'll be there backing me all the way because they need to make the noise to keep me going. Uh, but it really, it really does. I box behind closed doors in complete mm-hmm. silence, and I noticed how that did. It sort of dulled my performance slightly. But yeah, they, they pushed me on. Did just the old twelfth man in football, and it's, it is it is like that. obviously they can't fight for me, but they can certainly push me when when the going gets tough or when I let my shots go. Frank uh, Frank Warren, your promoter, he uh, he has a bit of a history of even recent history putting on stadium fights. He's doing it. He's delivering these these dreams. Josh Warrington, Ellen Road, he did it. Carl Frampton, Windsor Park. Look at Zach Parker. He's going to be at Pride Park. You must be looking at that and thinking it's only a matter of time. Yeah, exactly. Frank's already told me that he wants to sort it. So, and and the thing that and with the support that I've got within the city of Stoke on Trent, it can, it can be done. It and it will be done. It's I've just got to, but it's but the most important thing is I've got to keep winning. And obviously Diego's there to stop me from doing that. And I've got to keep fighting myself and obviously beat Diego. But yeah, the, 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 it's there, and, it, and and that's what we need to be looking at. But. We can't look over the fact that I'm fighting on Saturday, and that's the most important day for now. Finally, Nathan, you you are on a bit of a KO streak, uh, three in a row, I think now. Yeah, we're going to see uh, number four on Saturday. I, it's, with all of the opponents, not not a single one have I gone out there thinking I'm going to stop that opponent. It's just I've, I've just used the tactics that Steve's given me, and it's just eventually happened in those fights. So. I'll do the exact same again. I don't go looking for no knockout. We train for every single round to be an absolute to for it be hard all the way through. Um, and if it happens, it happens. But uh, yeah. All right. We look forward to it. We'll see you on Saturday. Um, I'm going to bring in Ray Doyle here, who's part of Team Jason Cunningham. Um, what a delight this man must be to be around in the gym. I mean, he's he's been through he's been through highs and lows. What's what's it like being around him at the moment, considering he's you know he's got this belt now? Yeah, it uh, feels like two brothers on top at the minute. We uh, we work together, train together, obviously, and uh, we're riding the crest of the wave right now at the minute. Uh, he's had his setbacks, and uh, we've had to reevaluate and use his experience to come back to get him sat at top of this table. So it's a pretty good feeling at the minute. And this man here, Terry. Le Cuvier. Um banana skin, right? I mean, this is the sort of guy that can just ruin your dreams. Exactly, yeah. We uh, we can't underestimate anyone. Uh, Terry's a really good fighter, very aggressive from what I've seen. Uh, I'd have liked to have got a bit more footage on him, but uh, is what it is. I've been digging deep and uh, studying we, alongside Jason, and we've been uh, implementing a game plan and few other things where we feel like we can uh, explode his flaws and stuff like that but like you said he is a very uh, big banana skin where what we want to we want to try and progress we've got you've got lights of these young lads coming through and stuff like that who who, uh, uh, showing that we must be doing something right because Jason's got that and they want what he's got he's got that target on his back but we want to keep trying to aim higher and uh, try and produce a little bit more from Jason's career I feel like he's in uh, he's prime at the minute and he's starting to show it and another good performance again Terry and people can be talking about what Jason can do moving on How much of an example is, is Jason to young pros coming through to you know well like his tattoo says you know underdog who never lost hope how much of an example is he? Yeah he's a, he's a r- uh, real example to young fighters coming through Uh it, it, too much, in my opinion, about boxing is about people are wanting to hold on to their oars at minute and stuff like that. And uh, it all depends who you're matched against and stuff like that, what you can take from it. If you take a defeat, it's whether you can learn from it and how you've performed in that defeat when you've stepped up a level. Sometimes stepping up the level is what's going to help you uh, learn your craft along the way to produce you for your next contest going forward. And Jason's a fine example of that, that it's not the end of the world. If you lose, you can come back. What's the difference going to be on Saturday night between these two? Uh, experience, learning the hard way. Terry's a good fighter. I'm not saying uh, he don't bring anything to the table. Of course he does. It, it's going to be his. It's his shot at the title. And uh, but I just feel that Jason has been in with a better opposition, and I think it will show on the night. The, we're, this is his third European 
title fight in 11 months and that's some momentum we want to try and keep that going and that's momentum and experience will play a massive part on the night thank you Roy let's speak to Terry um, I've been following your Instagram uh, and you look very happy you you look like you have you have been training for this moment your whole life yeah, I'm uh, my best condition today uh, you can see you can find video on the internet on me but I was like an amateur fighter because professional but train uh, two or three times every week only but since uh, one year or two years I train three times every day like a professional my skill is really different my body is different no I'm very strong I'm different you nobody can know my condition today except people saw me at sparring I'm very good condition today and I'm I trust to my chance so this is a huge level above where you have been boxing this is a, a man who's been in with the best and currently holds this belt as well what makes you think that you are ready for that jump up uh, Cunningham is a very good fighter uh, good strategy I think not easy to, to box him but I have solution I find good trainer English trainer uh, in, in all the world and uh, they teach me how to do how to win this fight and uh, I believe it will be a very good fight uh, I'm not afraid to lose I'm not afraid to lose this fight uh, no pressure on me only pressure for him because I will give everything everything it will it will be a, a war it's your first time fighting outside of France any uh, what are your feelings are you sort of are you, are you happy about that? Are you nervous about it? How, how do you feel? You're a, out of your home comforts. It's not the first time. I already uh, win title European um, Union Championship okay. in Italy. 12 rounds outside. There is no video in internet. But I win easily. Easily. And uh, I don't know for tomorrow if it's better or, or not. But I will give everything. I will not have any regrets. I will do everything. What will it mean? It's my chance. It's, this is your big chance. This is it. This is my chance. I can tell how much it means to you. Tell, tell us how much it would mean to become the European champion. Okay. How much does it mean to you? Uh, it's, for me, it's like a dream. It's like a dream. That's why I train. I train very hard. Very. I train very very hard, and I go to tra uh, training camp in France, in Asia. I train with uh, some world champion. Um, I feel good. I feel good. And finally, what what do you think of Jason? Wh where do you see the weaknesses that you can exploit? Uh, I uh, <laughs> I will show you on on Saturday for sure. Jason is very good boxer. He can win, but I know I can win. I don't know. It just uh, it will be a war. Okay, well, let's speak to the champion. Jason, the underdog who never lost hope. So so long you've been in the away corner, and now Saturday night you're in the home corner. You're headlining live on BT Sport. You're defending your European championship. How does that sound? Different. Definitely different. Uh, it's taken a long road to get here. Uh, ten years as a pro, all these titles, and I'm finally in the home corner where I belong. And uh, Terry's talking about pressure, but for me, uh, in that away corner, I'm, I'm here, I've enjoyed every, you know, every bit of the experience, and I'm going to enjoy this. There's no pressure on me, I'll go out there, I'll perform, i show you that I'm number one, I'm number one in Britain, number one in Europe, and I'm pushing towards world honours. Like I say, my target's on my back, all these uh, other prospects coming through, they're going to want me, that's fair enough. Um, but there's just one man on my mind on Saturday, and that's the guy to your left. And that's all that matters. He's promising a war. Do you think this is that sort of fight? Do you think it'll be trenches? I'm prepared for whatever Terry's got to bring. I say I've got that much experience. I've been in. I can fight. I can box. I can do whatever, whatever he brings. You know, we'll see. One thing that a lot of people do underestimate is I'm very, very durable and very, very tough. So if Terry wants to bring that game, then he's probably going to find out the hard way. Listen, I'm, I'm going to move back a little bit here because they are just next to each other. Mm -hmm. So Terry, if there's anything you want to say to Jason... Yeah, he's he's here, and vice versa. Good luck, <laughs> because uh, I really want this fight. 
I, uh, you know, Jason, every day I'm seeking to fight with you. Every day, every every time I'm eat, I I'm angry with you because I want to eat pizza. I want to eat burger. Well, you've only got two days to wait. Two more so tonight. Soon, yeah. Tonight, I will eat you. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know about that, but uh, two, uh, two uh, days. Saturday, and <laughs> Saturday, sorry. Listen, you're going to be. This is like his world yeah. title shot, and this is the man for me moving on. So we're both hungry. We're both going to come as being his best, being the all, all the fans a good fight. Yeah. But there's one man tonight who's going to win, and that's me. I love boxing, and it's. Uh, I'm happy to, to box with you, and we will do a very good fight. 100 percent sure. Jackson, earlier on... Um, Terry was getting a few photos done up here yeah. and I saw that maybe he was getting a little bit too close to that belt and you were like, get away from the belt. <laughs> <laughs> How much does that, does that title mean to you? Everything. Uh, they all do. They've all played something on my journey. Uh, they've all mean something. You know, even me, maybe eight titles as an amateur. It's all on the road. Um, all done the hard way in the away corner, like I say. So that means everything to me. It's me. Third European title fight in 11 months, so I've been very, very active. I'm in form my life, and uh, that comes with me on Saturday night. It's as simple as that. You know, I don't underestimate Terry. I underestimate nobody. He says he's in good, good condition, so am I. But there's levels, and I'm going to show on Saturday the level between me and Terry. What is it about this version of Jason Cunningham that these, these young bucks are finding so difficult to beat? What, is, it, is it experience? Is it What is it? It is. It is. It's definitely experience. Obviously, like I say, I'm, I'm on for 40 pro fights now. Uh, I ain't had 10 or whatever else. And like I say, I've had my setbacks, but I've, I've learned from them, Dev. So you learn and you know when to... You know, just little things during fights, how to nick rounds, pinch rounds. You know, if I need to fight inside, I can I can adapt. I can change my game plan. So it's just over years. It's just, you know, it always is. And it's brought me to fight around today. I, I'm happy for them failures in my past because they have made me, obviously, the fight around now. So, like I said, I'm just going to enjoy this whole experience. My name, top man on the table. My fancy suit, as Andrew said, I've got a fancy suit on as well. Um, and I'm going to enjoy Saturday night. This is uh, this is new. This is new for you, right? This, uh, I mean, the fancy suit is great. But this position of having that target on your back, you obviously Terry's got a bit too close to your belt already. Um, I've noticed Andrew looking over. He's talked about how, how lovely it looks um, and, and he wants it as well. I mean, what what is it like? being in that position, the man targeted. It's good. Oh, it's healthy. I, I would I would that fighter, you know, a few years back growing up. It, that's just how it is and these prospects coming through. Let's get it right. I mean a couple of years ago, before the pandemic and everything set in, I didn't have no nobody wanted to know me. But now obviously they do for obvious reasons. So that's just how it is, that's just how it goes. Um but the main thing is that I keep holding them titles and they get themselves in a position and like I say, I'm not one to shy away. So if Andrew or anyone else gets himself there, then we can get it on. But at the minute, I've got my mind on one thing, that's Terry, and pushing towards the world title. What's going to happen on Saturday night? Couldn't win. That's all that matters. That's all, all that matters. No matter what way it comes, um, I'll listen to Ray's instruction. Uh, we've worked hard in the gym, like I say. Everything's been done. No corners cut, never is. Uh, and a couldn't win. That's all that matters. Terry, your chance to give your final message to Jason ahead of Saturday night? No more. I think uh, I tell I told you everything tomorrow. I can't wait to I can't wait to be Saturday. I just want to box. I'm happy. It's like I'm like a child when I go to the to the ring. I just want to to win every plan. I have a plan for win. I don't know if I want to have this belt. I, I want to take this belt now. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I don't box, I, uh, I want to shift this belt. <laughs> I dream, I, and I will do it. Final word to you then, Jason. Obviously, look, he wants it. Um, he said he's going to eat you at some point as well. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it with you to, to respond. Just good luck. Good luck, Sadie. Let's have a good fight. Um, you can look at it all you want, but it's staying with me. <laughs> Enjoy it. We'll see you Saturday night, Telford International Centre, live on BT Sport from 7 o'clock. It's Cunningham, it's Terry, we've got Nathan Heaney in against Diego Ramirez, we've got the return of Andrew Kane, and there's so much more. Do tune in, we'll see you then. Get knocked, Sparta! <laughs> no hard needed! 
Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.